Yeah, go ahead and turn on one of them. Okay. About 30 seconds. All right. Back to the morning drive, 105.9 WBG. I've got Gretchen Quarterman in the studio. She's with Walls Watershed Coalition, among other things. Uh, welcome to the show, Gretchen. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Good. Now you've got a lot going on, and I want to jump. I want to jump to one that, that that's kind of my favorite. I ask you about it, and I'm like, I'm interested in this. Y'all having a songwriting contest? Can you elaborate on that a little bit? We are the Walls Watershed Coalition. Uh, Swanee River Keeper is. Um, having a songwriting contest because how many songs do you know about the Swan River? Way down upon the Swan. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Well, there's that one. Yeah, Next right. one, okay, sing me another one. Uh, I don't, you caught me, you caught me off guard here. Uh, okay, well, so that's why we're having a songwriting contest, so that there will be more, <laughs> more than songs one. Yeah, gotcha. that people know about yeah. our rivers. That's and right. uh, the songwriting contest isn't limited to the Swanee. Yeah. You can write a uh, song about the Withlacoochee or the Alapaha or the New River or the Little I got River. One. I got one for the Withlacoochee. So tell me if you like it. Way down yonder on the Withlacoochee. Oh. <laughs> can I do that one? No, nah, I don't think you can do that one. <laughs> gotcha. I gotcha. Um, so um, the, we're accepting songs until June the 1st. Gotcha. And if you go to walls.net to the website, there's a, on the left-hand side a little thing that says submit a song. And it takes you to a form where you fill in okay. all your information and upload Good. your song. And the top... I think it's seven will be selected and perform at the Salty Snapper on um, June the 23rd. It's a Saturday afternoon. Okay. So we'll have a live performance there and people will come and get yes. your little wristband and, and hear a bunch of bands play their songs about our rivers. And then will the winner be chosen? The winner day? will be chosen that day. Good deal. June 23rd. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we get you or John back on before then. To, uh, to announce that because uh, I think that'd be interesting. I think, it, I think people it's, like that. It's going to be totally fun. Totally uh, fun. You also, <coughs> excuse me, want to talk about the uh, the Wild and Scenic Film Festival. Yes, indeed, I do. That's coming up this week on Thursday right. evening at 7 p.m. at the Mathis Auditorium. So, Congress has been making the designation of Wild and Scenic Rivers for 50 years. Mm -hmm. And so, this is the 50th anniversary since 1968. And um, this is in celebration of that designation of rivers. And when a river has that designation, it has extra protections. Gotcha. Um, it has either forestry service or um, some additional um, government oversight to make sure that the river stays free flowing, that dams clean. aren't built clean, um, that landowners aren't um, withdrawing water where they're not supposed to be, that they have correct permitting. Um, Georgia only has one river with that designation. Really? The wow. Chattooga. Yeah, wow, because we have really awesome rivers. Uh -huh, yeah. um, Oregon has the highest concentration of rivers with that designation. And we will have a film about the Chattooga, mm -hmm. and we'll have a film about the concentration in Oregon. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's 13 short films. The average run length is seven minutes. Gotcha. So we'll have a, um, a little <coughs> introductory welcome. Then we'll show about 50 minutes of films. Okay. Then we'll have an intermission. Our caterer and concessionaire is Big Nick. Oh, yeah. So plan yeah. on getting something yummy. Absolutely. Uh, he does a good job. We use him at FCA on occasion. So. And then our feature film in the second half of the program is a film about straws. So plastic straws are a particularly bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. And this film is about the history of straws and um, sort of the damage that they're doing now. I don't know if you've seen the film about where they take the straw out of the turtle's nose. I have, yeah, I have seen it. I've seen it on YouTube. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, well, the woman that w rescued that turtle, she's in this film. Oh, wow. So uh, it's it's a wonderful film. Uh, we have a film about coral reef restoration in mm -hmm. Florida. You know that um, suntan lotion uh, destroys coral reef. I didn't learn this until lately. So when you're slather, you're at the beach and you're slathering on suntan lotion, the chemicals in that are dangerous to coral reef. Um, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so um, there's a film about a, a group that has learned how to grow coral reef and put it back. 
Okay, that's good. If you think about the hundreds of thousands of beachgoers and all that suntan lotion, that's that's not a good thing. Hopefully, they'll come up with a uh, an alternative. Right, right. You know, something that's safer. Safer, yeah. That's all. Safer. You know, that's one thing that uh, that I think we can all agree on in, in the political life. We find as many things as we can to fuss and fight and argue about. But I think most anyone who enjoys going outside, the last thing they like to see when they're going to enjoy nature is garbage and plastic and pollutants. We can all rally around that, surely. A you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, being good stewards of our environment and make sure that we protect uh, what we have. So right. when we go down the river that there's not plastic bags and mm -hmm. straws and zip tabs and you know a million right. little things which hurt uh, the environment, they hurt the wildlife they hurt the plants, mm -hmm. and it's just it's just not it's good, not good. It's, it's not good stewardship. In any stretch of the imagination. Now, uh, what else do you, <coughs> you want to make sure we go over? Because I'm going to ask you some questions once we okay. make sure you get all your information. Okay. Well, so two other events that we have coming up every month, we have an outing, mm -hmm. and our outings are free to our members, and they're ten dollars for non-members. And our upcoming outings are we're doing an overnight camping from Swanee Springs to Swanee River State Park, and that's this weekend coming up. So that's a twenty dollars for non-members because it's two day, mm -hmm. um, and there's also a ten dollar shuttle fee because that's a little more complicated with all the gear and everything. That's right. That's right. And then on Friday night, um, <coughs> July the twenty seventh, we're doing a full moon paddle at Banks Lake. Mm, that'd be nice. So we've done that before. Uh, if it's raining, then we have to cancel, mm -hmm. and we've had that happen to us. But if the moon is actually rising, we do a little potluck ahead of time, you know, bring something to share and then we get our boats out. And as the sun sets and the moon comes up over the lake, it's absolutely beautiful. So I've been out there, uh, my dad and I, back before it was a National Wildlife Refuge, this has been many years ago, we've got there fishing at night with uh, for the big bluegill brim. Mm -hmm. And we would use uh, glow-in-the-dark flies that simulated a, uh, uh, you know, a firefly. firefly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been out there on full moon nights. It is breathtaking honestly it's beautiful out there all the cypress trees and full moon rising it, it, it's really beautiful so i would invite everyone to come with us that night ten dollars for non-members free to members come have a good time city slickers gretchen in atlanta and new york they, they don't know what that's all about no, no they have no idea <laughs> and, and, and part of the problem is that people who are surrounded by concrete well when they throw something down it just goes on concrete so when they're that doesn't stay on concrete eventually it finds its way you know, if you throw something in downtown Valdosta, it makes its way to some one of the creeks here, and it makes its way to the river, and then down to the Swanee, and into the Gulf. And before you know it, it it's out there where That's it shouldn't right. be. That's exactly right. I'll never forget going on a deep sea fishing trip one time, and the captain of the boat, that I was young, I think I was in high school, uh, went with the baseball team, and the captain encouraged us to throw our trash and our cans overboard. This is no joke said that the sharks would eat it and they even will then, and then be, they'll die i know being even being then uh, young and uneducated you knew that wasn't right you, know, you just knew so we stuffed it in our bags and, and took it back but uh it's horrible it's horrible um we're getting a lot of rain that's what i'm going to talk to you about we've mentioned this before you come on there uh and it's uh it, it's a beautiful thing we need it to replenish the earth replenish the aquifer you told me about a cypress swamp there just how low are we, do you think, still? Or are we, are we, are we at a huge deficit still? Because I know Oh, about I wish I had looked that up. Yes, we are at a huge deficit. Mm -hmm. our, our, when I last looked, our rain, we had gotten like um, one quarter of the rain we normally do in mm -hmm. the year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what I was saying is that uh, on our property, we have a cypress swamp, which in a normal, at this time of the year, would have two feet of water in it, and you need your tall boots to, you know, just mm -hmm. wait around. It has been dry a year, and after this amount of rain, we have no standing water in it. There's not a puddle. The leaves are wet, but it's not even mushy yet. Mm -hmm. um, and the aquifer below us, that beautiful lake that we all drink from, every straw, whether it's the city of Aldosta County, your private well, uh, Madison County, you know, everyone, Jacksonville, we all drink from that beautiful lake is being drawn down faster than the rain is falling into it. Mm. And that's what's causing the sinkholes because that limestone right. under there has no water to hold it up and it's the limestone, it just collapses. Mm. And we need to be much better stewards of our water. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about, when I jumped in the shower this morning, I was like, wonder, I wonder how long my shower is. Yeah. Well, it was like two minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so that's how much water I was using. I could stand in the water and really enjoy myself and get warmed up, and but that's not being a good steward. Standing at the sink and letting the water run, not good stewardship. And there's not any reason to do that. No, you can no. easily turn the water off. It's all about habits. Uh, it's like when you're brushing your teeth. You turn the water on, you put a little water on your toothbrush, turn it back off. Don't sit there and let it continuously run. It serves no purpose and it's just wasteful. And that one act, if everyone would stop doing that, it would make a huge difference it, somewhere it, down the road. It, it, it would make a difference. It absolutely would if everybody thought about how much water they were using. That's good. All righty. Well, I'm 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 a uh, I'm gonna keep watching the song writing contest. That's the one that's got my interest. But let's not forget May the 31st, 7 p.m. at Mathis City Auditorium, uh, the uh, Wild and Scenic Film Festival uh, brought to you by Walls Walls Watershed Coalition. 13 films. They're short films, about seven minutes in duration mm -hmm. on the average. Uh, they're going to have refreshments. Uh, there'll be speakers, auction, raffle prizes. There's a lot of reasons to go. Uh, get tickets for 10 bucks. You can call 850-290-2350 for more information or visit www.als.net. Correct. And uh, you'll get more information there. And then also I'll keep reminding everyone to show up at the Salty Snapper on June 23rd to help judge the songwriting contest. I'm looking forward to that. Correct. Thank you. And uh, I would like to say thank you to our many, many sponsors of mm -hmm. the film writing contest. Songwriting contest and the film festival. Sure. Uh, we have local sponsors who have been very generous, mm -hmm. uh, and there will be a silent auction. We have a uh, wild adventures tickets. We have the weight compound lessons. Yeah. Uh, so we have a lot of great stuff uh, to be auctioned off. Awesome, Gretchen Quarterman. Appreciate you coming in and sharing with us this morning the goings on in our community relating to the Walls Watershed Coalition. I'll be fine work there. Appreciate it. All right, one zero five nine WVG. We'll be right back. <clears throat> there you go. If you can leave these two with me, I'll, try to, I'll try to mention it again a couple of times. I, I, can, I can leave you some more. You can give them to your brain. There you go. Okay. Good to do. And this is our last month's newsletter. Um, this is in print that you can't read such glasses on. Um, <laughs> but that's April. May is already out, but I don't happen to have them with me. Um, I can almost read it. Does that count? <laughs> I probably could read it.